What's up guys, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and today I'm going to go over a quick coloring tutorial using LUTs and film grain on the new futuristic music video that I just shot and edited, colored, all that good stuff. I get a lot of questions on how I do my coloring and how to utilize LUTs. So today I'm going to quickly show you how I colored this video inside Adobe Premiere using two different LUTs. And yeah, it's very simple. So let's get into it. So first off, here is the raw clip um, that we have a futuristic in the forest. This was shot on the red dragon. And this is the red raw clip in red gamma three profile on the dragon. So first off, um, I went in and I added an effect from the effects tab called levels. I pretty much always that add this. So I drag this on to a, an adjustment layer and real quickly to color a video. I pretty much always color my video via an adjustment layer over the video. So to do that, you would just click this new item adjustment layer, lay down the adjustment layer. And now anything you do to this adjustment layer is going to affect anything below it. Um, so this is how I kind of color overall color my video is through adjustment layers. So to this adjustment layer, I added the levels. Now if I click that back on, toggle it on and off, there's on, there's off. So what I did is I crushed the blacks a little bit. It starts at zero. I brought it to a 25. I wanted to kind of crush the blacks and, and deepen those blacks a little bit. Next, the next thing I did is this RGB white right here. I took it from 255. And if you see how I drag it down, it kind of flattens it out. I took that to 240. Sorry for my dog's barking. Hold on, let's cut this real quick. So next after that, I added a LUT and I actually added two LUTs to this adjustment layer. A lot of people don't realize that you can stack LUTs and combine LUTs and that's something I like to do. And the first thing I did is I added a Fuji 250D LUT that just comes standard in Adobe's um, you know, program here. So I added that. And what I do is I add it under the creative tab. So you're gonna come in here to the effects tab. You're gonna type in Lumetri color and you're gonna drag that onto your adjustment layer. And then from there, when you come into the Lumetri color effect, you can add a LUT. And what, where I typically add it is under this little creative tab right here. And the reason I do that is because when you add the LUT, here's my Fuji LUT from Adobe, in the creative tab, you can adjust the intensity. So instead of 100%, having the LUT at 100%, I've dragged it back to 50. So this lessens the intensity so I can kind of combine different LUTs for a specific and unique look. From there, I threw on a fade. This is how you can kind of get a faded uh, film look or just add this kind of slight fade to your video. Um, and here, I have it set to 25. Let me toggle this on, there we go. So you can see there's off, and if I drag it way up, there's on, like that's like a 150%, which we're not gonna do. Um, I just have it set to 25, kind of give a slight fade there. And now if you toggle this on and off, there is, and I took the vibrance down a little bit too, I will say that. So I took the vibrance down, and now you can see when I toggle this on and off, this kind of faded, neutral, slightly desaturated look that I have there a little bit. So that was my first LUT. Then the second LUT is a LUT that I used from Tropic Color, their vintage collection. I used a LUT called Chaplin from their vintage LUT pack. Links to their LUTs will be in the description below. Check them out. They're probably my favorite LUTs on the not probably, they are my favorite LUTs on the market and I work closely with them as an affiliate um, and a brand ambassador. So check them out, really dope LUTs and I use them on all my videos. But anyways, so I took their vintage LUT, Chaplin, which you can just add, once you buy, you can just have the cube file, the dot cube file and add. And then I took this intensity from 100. Uh, so there's fully enhanced here. Let me toggle it on and off. So there's fully at 100%. That's a little strong. It's a little OD, a little just, it's just too much. So you can dial that back and just draw back the intensity. And here's set to 30. I had it set to 30. It would honestly still work at about 50%. There's 50%. If I toggle it on and off, you can see it just added this little bit of warmth, kind of a fall feeling a little bit. The sun kind of golden. Uh, but yeah, so I'm a, I would just bring it back to 40. Again, I added a slight fade to this LUT as well. And that's pretty much it. So again, adding the LUT in the creative tab so that you're able to adjust the intensity. 
if you add the LUT in the basic correction, which you can, notice it says input LUT, if you add it in here, you cannot change the intensity. So that's why you always add the LUT in the creative tab, and that way you can dial back the intensity, make it stronger, make it less intense, and so on. Um, and that's really it. That's how I colored this video. Uh, the last thing I did is I wanted to have a little bit of a film look, a little bit of film grain. So I took this 8mm stock film grain from uh, Tropic Color 4K scanned in, and I laid this over the entire video. So if I toggle this off here, here's my film grain. As you can see, I have it laid across the whole top of the video, and I don't want to put it below the adjustment layer because I don't want the color affecting the film grain. So I lay the film grain over the adjustment layer, and then here's without the uh, overlay opacity. You can see the film grain working there, and I simply go to blend mode. I click on the clip, go to blend mode, and you can either select overlay, or you can select soft light. So the soft light's gonna give it more of like a faded, softer look, and overlay will give you a little bit more of a punchier, grainier look. Um, for this video, since I was going with a little bit of a more faded look, I just did soft light. And that is how I colored this whole video. So now if you're watching it back, you have the adjustment layer with all the color changes, the LUTs, the film grain, and that is what you have. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, links to these different products like the grain, the LUTs, and everything will be in the description below. If you liked the video or it helped, leave a like, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll answer your questions in the comment section. I'm pretty good at responding. But anyways, guys, hopefully this helped you guys. I know coloring can be hard for a lot of people, and LUTs are a great way to kind of help people get started and learning how to coloring and know um, you know, it's basically like a preset for your video. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully the, these LUTs that I showed you help. And until next time, I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds, and I'm out. Yeah!